Wolverhampton Wanderers won, Aston Villa won, Aston Villa lose another game in the race for a European finish and whereas last week I found it a little bit more frustrating to watch and overall just overwhelming sense of disappointment um, today it's just um, it's just annoying because in the sense of that I came into this game thinking, you know, I've got I've got my Wolves mates here watching it with them. They're all sitting there thinking, you know, Villa, we've been really good in the last month or two under Emery. The form was really picked up with that push for Europe. Um, they're all thinking, oh, it's going to be, Villa just going to win, aren't they? And I'm just there thinking, it doesn't happen like that. Whenever we go to the Molyneux, we end up in for a for an even-sided game. And ultimately, for me, it was going to be more of the case of we're either going to draw or we're going to lose this game. But I just didn't feel like we had the... um. And we never have the edge whenever we go to the Molyneux. Um, and he ultimately showed it one goal to separate the game today in the first 10 minutes. You know, a bit of poor marking from a corner. Jacob Ramsey easy getting bullied off by Totti, who makes a brilliant header, to be fair, to score the goal. Um, and then it's just how it is throughout the whole game. We dominate them throughout the next 80 minutes. Got multiple chances, few on target, but ultimately not being able to make anything count. Uh, Wolves there now and again managed to break through, get it across to their side of the pitch, break through our defence and get that one chance. You're thinking, it's going to be the picture of the game. We're going to spend all this time dominating in possession and chances and then Wolves are just going to have that one opportunity and take it because they're clinical when they get those chances. Um, it just didn't come to fruition today and it's massively, massively frustrating. You know, I'm looking at the table here. Tottenham are pretty much gonna pretty much all have one against Crystal Palace. Liverpool are now starting to pick up form again and they're playing Brentford as well later on. Brighton have got three games in hand. <sighs> the the dream's over, isn't it? It's 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 a shame in the sense that like obviously it's the hope that kills you, and it? it's the hope that kills you because you want to be there and the fact that you know, in the grand sense of things, it's still a massive achievement whether they have a have a gun or gonna finish sorry this season compared to where we were at the start. It's a massive turnaround. It's just that last little run in. If we just managed to fucking pick up some more momentum, just had a bit more of a go at it, it could have been on. But I think ultimately the magic not the magic style, it's it's just fizzled out. Like just the the magic that like the belief that we're going to do it. I think it, it's just fizzled out now. And I think it's time for Emery to start looking through that team. We're going to have this new sporting director person from Barcelona coming in. It's now time to look through this team and see, okay, we've managed to get into here. You know, we just fell short of what could have been possible. We now need to see within that squad what it needs to get us from there to the next step to that European place. Um and hopefully that's what's going to happen over the summer. There are some players that do need moving out. Um, it's also kind of expected, like, when we're playing the same team for however long, players are going to get tired. We're playing at such a high intensity as well. Um, so the, like That's the issue. When you have a bench like we have, um, compared to a C bench where it's a constantly refreshing team, you look at that bench and think, oh, bloody hell, I don't want to play against them. When it comes to Villa... The, some, some, some of the substitutions we're making just don't seem to have that same impact. We're taking off Traore, who hasn't had a great game since starting. You know, he may have scored a great goal against Leicester and whatnot. But really, you watch it, you think, this is why Traore got sent out on loan and wasn't playing for a long time, because he's so inconsistent. He's so one-footed in a mobile in that position. And then we're bringing on Bailey, and it's like... It's not really feel confidence because Bailey's not massively been at it since he's joined the club. And he's somebody that, if the value was right, probably should let him go as well. It's substitutions like that. We're then bringing on Diego Carlos um, to replace Ashley Young. It's like, okay. You know, defensively, it's going to make us a bit more sound and structured. It also gives Carlos a little bit of a run out, but it's not like. It's not going to score as a goal, is it? We're bringing on Dinya and then Kamara. That's not going to bring us a goal. You know, we just don't have the options to somehow change the game sometimes, I feel. And when we're bringing on the likes of Dendonka, the likes of Kamara, the likes of Chambers, the likes of... You know what I mean? We're making all these substitutions at the back, and yet the one substitution we make up front was just a swap for swap. You know, Bailey didn't really bring much to the game. Watkins, for the amount of chances that he has, he wasn't at it today, just wasn't happening. I think our best players, you know, Buendia was absolutely immense. Essentially, the 
engine of the team today, trying to get those chances going forward into front of the Wolves goal, but ultimately couldn't get anything. Beginning W were trying really hard. Jacob Ramsey was having a bit of an inconsistent game, more so playing to the occasion, I think, more than the match. Um, and just defensively, you know, it's just one lapse in concentration and it costs you three points. And like I said, you know, we're still going to play Liverpool next and they're now in form, so I'm, I can't imagine that's going to be a victory. Tottenham, you don't know what Tottenham side you're going to get, but who knows. And then it's Brian on the last day. Now, the issue is, right, like I said, even if this team... I mean, realistically, the lowest we got, we're going to finish is ninth. Because unless Fulham win their next games... um. You know, it's the lowest we're going to finish is 10th. And what we've been wanting for quite a while is a top 10 finish. Now, that's perfectly fine. If we was to finish 7th, I know it's the Conference League. It is still mathematically... Like, finishing 6th is math mathematically possible. You know, finishing 5th is math mathematically possible. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. But 6th or 7th is still possible. It's just the games we've got ahead and the fact that these teams are now coming into form. It's just very hard. And when you see performances like today, when you see performances like Manchester United, it's hard to think it's going to happen. And essentially, I really do think it is the end. Um, you know, I, I was sitting there thinking if we hadn't won today, a draw would have been helpful because it at least keeps us in that still playing field. Um I just think it had to be a win today. And if it wasn't going to be a win, it, it seems, seems pretty much over, isn't it? Um, and unfortunately, I think that's what's happened, though. But, you know I mean? There's still three more games for Villa. You never know. We could somehow pull it out of the bag. But, like I said, Liverpool, Tottenham, Brighton. I just don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. It's just not. It's just one step too far. And I think, ultimately, it's still a great season in regards to where you finish. We've just got to look for the future, and that's what the process is going to be now. So, yeah, leave in the comments down below what you thought on your social pages about the game. Tell us your man of match and what you think. Are Villa going to make the European positions? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But until then, it is Liverpool next time. Up the Villa with the pride of Villa. We'll see you next time, boys.